The sun is at the bottom of its roughly 11-year energy cycle, a low point called solar minimum. It's expected to switch back into an active phase sometime in the next nine months, and that moment of transition may be visible in a signal called a terminator. And so the terminator event is really the signature, it's, a, it's the flipping of the switch. Scott McIntosh, the director of NCAR's High Altitude Observatory, says the sun will then start creating lots of sunspots, something we've seen little to none of in the 12 months leading up to the Terminator event. Years at which sunspot production is very low typically produce very erratic weather. That means more unpredictable weather with extremely warm and dry periods followed closely by extreme cold and wet periods. Right, this is a farmer's almanac type thing, right? And they'll bet their horse on it. The famous farmer's almanac winter forecast is one of the few that uses solar activity in their equation. In this year's edition, the eye-catching headline, Ride the Polar Coaster. This could be in reference to the same erratic weather that McIntosh has seen in his sunspot research. The data kind of backs it up. The question is how the hell does it work, right? That for us, and especially here at NCAR, that's the question. McIntosh says they're working on several theories to explain why this connection exists while there is not a connection between sunspots and temperature or precipitation. He says the terminator may play a role depending on timing. If this low sunspot activity remains over the winter, then that more erratic weather pattern might emerge. But McIntosh says it's still possible the terminator comes before winter starts. And so when the terminator happens, the atmosphere goes back to being more regular, more rigid, right? And things start to behave themselves again. And so there's, there's maybe something to it. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.